personally as a youtuber and for you a subscriber it is very easy to see the hypocrisy and bs of just pearly things people have been calling it out for the last year and she's not a likable person so much so that many of her own staff have left the just pearly things network why did you leave jpt what happened just pearly things direction is not the same direction that i want to go in you know i've doubled my subscriber base you know a lot more views like millions of views every month and you know i've made a lot more money right but it comes to a point where it works best for me my identity my ideas about the world that i just do my own thing and that all happened within a span of just four to five months just pearly things has flipped from a men's rights activist to somewhat on the far right and you know just all in a very short span of time and all of this comes from copying kevin samuels and stealing stuff from andrew tate but when i criticize pearl i just deal with the facts i don't deal with what she looks like or how tall she is or how white she is or how not white she is I, I don't deal with that i only deal with what i'm talking about which is the concept of that particular video but unfortunately not everybody is like me there are people like tasha k and when she was asked about just pearly things on adam 22 she said this yeah. rest in peace kevin samuels but were you yeah. did you have a relationship with him were you yeah, fan that of him? Was my dog. okay yeah. so you can respect what he was bringing to the absolutely. table absolutely okay yeah i had no no complaints against kevin samuels i mean it was harsh but I'm harsh. Right. You know what I'm saying? And but so, it feels like the, the void that has been created by Kevin Samuels leaving is that now we only have like white manosphere type people telling people how to live their lives. And it, the game is not the same. I, that I couldn't believe that the black community elected a white bitch to tell you how to how to get a black man. Like that shit right there threw me. You talking about Pearl? Yes. <laughs> You're not a Pearl I fan, said Pearl ain't never even had black dick before. How <laughs> she going to tell a black woman how to treat a black man? Right. Like that's what the, and I said that we're we're done, we're yeah. doomed, and they call her the female version of Kevin Samuel. What the, f yeah. I asked her for an interview, right? Because oh, I was gonna get an ass about that slavery. Oh, we gotta shit. make that happen. Nah, she got scared. She did. She did. She went on H two H two, and they slaughtered her ass. H three H three. H three H three. Yeah, they, they slaughtered slaughter, her ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I realized that early on because I interviewed her very early on, and it was like as soon as I started to get outside of her like standard talking points, she really did not know what to say. No. And I want the best for her, but watching her like go down this weird thing where she just tweets the worst shit about women possible mm -hmm. on a regular basis is just kind of. And she's the worst type of woman there is. She's very pale. <laughs> She's very uh, uh, Netherland shaped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like f Amazonian, blonde hair, no f features, b and tan. If you if, if you did it, you know, physically to her, like, and just to hear her sit up and say a bunch of ignorant shit about a community that she knows nothing about that she didn't even grow up around. Right. But black people are so desperate for a platform with a million followers, they'll sit anywhere yeah. and let it's like her call her to a fight. Like what the. Now, for some of us, that might be funny. For others, it may be offensive, but that is exactly what she said. And a lot of Tasha Kay's points there, it really dealt with what she looked like as an individual, which again, when you're dealing with somebody, I'm, I'm never dealing with her looking like. But in Tasha Kay's case, that's exactly what she was dealing with. And of course, she struck the first blow. Now, just pearly things heard about what Tasha Kay said and she clapped back with this. Angry music! And I went on a podcast and said this about black women's skin and features. I would be canceled tomorrow. But it's perfectly acceptable for her to call no jumper and make fun of my European features? Uh-oh. Now, you already know that Just Pearly Things is not cool with Adam-22. Rewind, Demo! So Adam-22 just probably didn't have any issue with that for the fact that just pearly things in him are not cool at all. But let's get to the point of what was talked about. Tasha K did say some things towards just pearly things that we can say were racist. Now, this is not new to Tasha K making those claims, but we've seen things like this happen on just pearly things platform, very similar to Nick Fuentes when he was talking about black people. So I guess in this case, an eye for an eye, if you want to say it that way, but I'm not really dealing with that. I'm dealing with the fact that Tasha K talked about just pearly things first, 
And to be to my knowledge, I've never heard Just Purdy Things say anything like this about a black person. But Just Purdy Things commenters didn't take this lightly at all. This person dial vibes goes, where is her hair? Uh-oh. Taking a dun 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 sound effect. Doug J1325 posts a meme of a silverback gorilla. In other words, saying Tasha K looks like a gorilla. God damn. Now let's look at some of the comments here on Twitter. Cisco Paradox says reverse racism. MW in the hate separate. Anthony Brian Logan ABL says if you thought you wouldn't get banned for saying it, would you? That's probably the best comment there on the thread. Shouts to ABL. Black Star says attacking people using their physical features is low frequency behavior. I agree that it is low frequency behavior. Captain, uh oh, he says send her back to Africa so she learns how to respect others. Oh fuck! Hmm. Now Raina Bradshaw goes reverse racism is racism. Event Horizon goes is that woman speaking English? I can barely understand her. Ray Hicks says overweight female with apasomatic hair and Carl Malden knows casting aesthetic shade. Uh, Antoine be cooking. I guarantee the smoke detector beeps right after the video cuts off. But then here is the most shocking comment coming from a guy by the name of Anthony Kumia. They hate that they look like men. They can't grow pretty hair naturally. So they cut it off or so in braided neon bolt ropes. They speak like they haven't completed a single elementary school English class. They are the most obese people in the country. Of course, they hate white women. Now, I'm going to do a whole episode based on this Anthony Cumia guy because he's a very interesting person. I'll deal with him a little bit later. But here is what I want to say. And me being a pro-black and, you know, sticking to what I have to say first, right? As much as white racism is apparent, Here's what we need to do. If we're gonna talk about people of another race, we ought to steal, even if we think that, on social media platforms. What we need to do is stick with the position. We shouldn't deal with what they're looking like or how white they are or whatever. Because I'm gonna tell you like this, once they start clapping back like they're clapping back now, it's kinda of hard to defend what Tasha K is talking about. Um, now, let me tell you this. Even though the Nick Fuentes thing and the racist thing is whatever is there. And again, I'm a pro-black. I'm always on the black person's side, even though I'm not fond of Tasha K. But the fact of the matter remains. Now, if you say something about her that's racist, and then their crowd comes back and starts saying something the racist, and then black folks are saying, wow, those white folks are racist. They calling her gorillas. They're calling her with this and that. Well, all, all you got to do is say, who started it, right? And it's going to look like she's the first person that started these rants and so the thing about it is this okay tasha k needs to stop going around blatantly disrespecting people if you don't like what she looks like that's 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 different right uh, just pearly things you know hey she's not my cup of tea i'm not dealing with that and again there she goes trying to throw black men you know you black men want to be led by this it's always you know what what somebody's race is with her or what they look like deal with what she's talking about you know the same thing that Alban preach deals with and me i deal with deal with that because now what you're doing is you know people are out there talking about you looking like a gorilla and this and that then we're gonna be going around talking about you know hey these white folks are racist and all that which is true we know that but let them be the first people to say that not you because now all they gotta say was she started it she started it and again that's not necessary just probably thinks it's such a terrible uh, person when it comes to lying and not telling the truth and and, and, and and doing these other crazy things on the platform. She has so much evidence of that behavior. You don't even need to talk about what she looks like. It's completely irrelevant. But now when you get that and then their crowd comes back and the way that they're doing, now it's like, oh, the, well, her fans are racist. Her fans are whatever. Of course they are for sure, right? But But look at who did what first. And it was uncalled for, it's unnecessary. You know, I've done over a hundred videos on Just Purdy Things, never did that. Also, it's it can be considered hate speech, things like that. But again, this is how she does. And I guess, you know, the Cardi B thing ain't taught her well. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Trunk. Which is for you do the bell, we're out. <laughs>